Here at the Galveston Bay Foundation, we strive to ensure that one of our most valuable natural resources remains a beautiful and vibrant place for generations to come. To accomplish that goal, we rely on the generous support and hard work of organizations and individuals like you. The Galveston Bay Foundation is involved in many different types of programs. Uh, one is, of course, just acquiring land for preservation purposes. It's also doing uh, beach shoreline protection. They're also doing things such as oyster shell recycling. So we're really doing a very diverse system of trying to educate and maintain the integrity of the bay. And I see things from a viewpoint of how things interact, and this is a very interesting system here. And as long as we maintain the quality of the system, then we will make sure that we have a very viable and healthy bay. Today, we are proud to honor our 2015 Guardian of the Bay Award recipients. The Galson Bay Foundation Guardian of the Bay Award program came about because the foundation really wanted to uh, point out the people who are trying to help the bay. And we go through that process to ensure that one business, one government, and one individual really is doing their part to protect the Galveston Bay. For its enduring commitment to protecting Galveston Bay by encouraging restoration work throughout the county, including partnering with the Galveston Bay Foundation on projects such as the McCollum Park Shoreline Enhancement Project, the annual crab trap removal site at Fort Anahuac Park, and the preservation of a 500-acre tract of land in Chambers County that will serve as wildlife habitat, provide public access, and protect a supply of clean drinking water for area residents, Chambers County. Chambers County is a very integral part of the Galveston Bay system. We have a park in Chambers County. It's called McCullum Park. It's about a 14-acre park. It has about 800 feet on the shoreline of Trinity Bay. And when Hurricane Ike made landfall, about 70 feet of land was removed from the park at that time. And so we partnered with Galveston Bay Foundation to put in a living shoreline along McCullum Park. The Barsh Mania project this year with the Galveston Bay Foundation, they selected McCullum Park as one of the restoration areas for shoreline. And they had a wonderful turnout, about 70 volunteers or so came out to plant cordgrass. And so it's gonna make a a, a big difference. It's a benefit to many people. We're really honored and, uh, and delighted that Galveston Bay Foundation uh, saw fit to honor Chambers County in this way. We're very grateful to them. But in turn, we actually honor Galveston Bay Foundation. We appreciate so much of what they do. For its long commitment to preserving Galveston Bay through the donation of wetland plants grown at their Cedar Bayou Eco Center, the support of wetlands education in partnership with GBF's Get Hip to Habitat Education program, and for the countless NRG employees who volunteer at multiple GBF events, including Marsh Mania, Bay Day, and Bike Around the Bay, NRG Energy. NRG is responsible for generating electricity that's safe, reliable, and low cost and the water resource that we borrow from the bay is essential for our business. And so we take that very seriously and we want to be a good environmental steward and do everything we can to protect that water and at the same time do other things that can help make the bay a better environment. We have a facility close to the bay east of town where we have what we call Cedar Bayou and we have 24 ponds there that grow cord grass that we use for marshland mitigation where we want to go out, Galveston Bay decides they want to go in and recreate some marsh area. And we use this cord grass to go out and do it. I think last year we provided 132,000 plugs of cord grass and it's a huge accomplishment for our employees that love to give back. for her dedication to helping our next generation learn about Galveston Bay and its significance to our region, while inspiring them to embrace science in school, Cindy Willems. What I enjoyed most about working with Ms. Willems in the Get Hip to Habitat program was the fact that she's very outgoing and it makes learning easier and more fun. She gets really excited and then she gets us excited about it too. 
Get Hip to Habitat is a program that's designed by Galveston Bay Foundation. This year we had 300 students participate in the program. Not only did they get to go outside and get hands-on things, but we bridged the gap between themselves and the ecosystem. They learned what cord grass is there for and what they need to do to make sure that it stays around because it is a very important part of our ecosystem. When I see these kids get all excited and when I see a kid um, touch a fish for the very first time, you know, even though they've been scared to do it, or you see these kids, they get out in the mud and their moms didn't let them get out in the mud growing up. They have no idea what, what it's like. Some of them haven't even been to the bay. All they've been is to like Kima. So getting to see them actually experience those things, it's why I'm still a teacher. When Bob called me and he told me that they would like to honor me with the Guardian of the Bay Citizen Award, my husband, Craig's, you know, was like, what's going on? You know, he says my face was just like <laughs> complete white. So I was like, yeah, I just got this. And, you know, it was amazing. People should support the Galveston Bay Foundation because we're here to educate the public and to ensure that the integrity of this bay is maintained. We love the Galveston Bay Foundation. We encourage people to support the Galveston Bay Foundation. It's very important for everyone, whether you work, play, or uh, simply enjoy the bay. Everybody should be a member in our area. Everybody should be able to give what they can to the Galveston Bay Foundation to allow them to continue their stewardship, allow them to you know, build their education program. Galveston Bay Foundation does a great job. They use the money that's donated wisely, they use the contributions of people's time wisely, and they provide feedback on how are we helping the Bay, how is it truly benefiting the Bay, and we see that all the time.